I got a call from the office telling me that you know there was going to be a demonstration down at Wall and Broad, which is right where Wall Street is. I mean, that is the mecca of the financial world. This is the bull, the symbol of everything great in our country. And you can't get any, you can't get any closer to Wall Street, and they are uh, they are here in mass. They were angry about the bailout. Nobody wants to support this. They don't want the people to be responsible for it. I want to sell my suit right now and buy a t-shirt. I mean, the cops have riot gear on and, and machine guns. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure everything with the, what's going on in the world, is, it, it brings it a little, escalates it, but uh, they ain't messing around. I wanted to see what was going to go on. What were they going to do to Wall Street? What did the people have to say? What's the message you're trying to get through? We have been suffering through the last eight years of class warfare on the middle class and the working class in this country. They had no money for the people in New Orleans, but they had billions upon billions of dollars for bailouts and for the war on the people of Iraq and Afghanistan. And we are sick of this fucking bullshit. You can't afford health care, but you can't afford a $700 billion bailout? Are you kidding me? Aren't a lot of people who invested in these products, people like you, people, people like me? Anyway. This thing is not going to do it. People are going to lose. This is only $700 billion they're talking about. They're, they're, the losses are in the trillions. They're angry with the banks. They're angry with the oil companies. Everybody's angry at everybody. But what are we going to do? Let's come up with a solution. Let's stop yelling and arguing about it. If you don't like what the fat cats from Wall Street are coming up with, then give us something else. Give us a solution. They should fund the bailout and not healthcare because as a very rich person, um, I can't afford $700 billion, but I, I can afford, you know, a couple of hundred thousand dollars for healthcare. Would you like some money? <laughs> for certain, here, I'll just take a few. I don't want it all. I don't want to be a greedy No, pig. no, no, no. There's more? so much of it. I mean, there's 700 billion. It's, it's actually a sort of foreign-looking currency. It's backed by other nations investing in this one, which seems a little dubious, you know, but uh, it's the only way I can get a lot of money. Everybody had their own agenda, but the core message was, it's gotta stop. It's just gotta stop. I love this country. I love Wall Street. You wanna leave this country in a better place than you found it. And I don't know if that's what we're, we're, we're doing. The demonstration has actually moved from where it started out to right here. Uh, right outside of our office, because we're right outside of the New York Stock Exchange. You can actually you know, if you stay quiet a little bit, you can kind of hear the chanting. And I think there's probably six, seven hundred people outside right now. A lot of angry main streeters. We just opened up the windows, and it's crazy out there. Wow, this is insane. I'm going crazy. So they're pissed about the seven hundred billion coming out of the taxpayers' dollars. No one feels that they should be bailing out these big banks that default you know what? and defrauded everyone. You know what? People are not happy because at the end of the day, they're going to have to pay for this. Yeah, basically what they're saying is, you know, you broke the financial system, you know, you go into a store, you break something, you bought it. Oh, shit, you